Been a very long time since we've been back here on t on uh. Excuse you, asshole! I'm talking here. <laughs> Welcome back to DC Universe Online. It's been a very long time since we've been here. In case you've forgotten who I am, which I would not blame you, I'm Luke Lynch, Commander of the Legion, and. For some reason, I'm standing in front of the gates to Arkham Asylum. Why might that be? Well, if the two uh, lovely people that have been kind enough to join me for this session tonight would be so kind as to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm the Executioner Michael X, also known as the Vermilion Knight. Also known as Lillian. seriously not to be messed with. Lillian, it's your turn. I know, I know. I was waiting for you to be done. Eesh. Not the first time I've heard that won't be the last time. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, there are a literal shite ton of really high level baddies here but we're not here for them we are here because it is the Halloween event and my boy Mike did something kind of cool yeah <laughs> yeah I did So, uh, whenever you're ready, Case, the front door is open for you. And uh, just I make come. sure that you go to the... That sounded make really sure bad you... out of context. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go in through the front door. Go in through the roof access location. That is exactly what I have done. And hot damn. You've got angel Welcome statues, to... massive paintings, a self-playing piano... <laughs> and and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is the newest house added in the 2021 expansion. The manor, you can put it in any location in game. It is the largest player home option that Dawnbreak, the company that makes this game, uh, has added to the fold. So, Case, let's start the tour. You're in the main hallway, I'm going to guess. Yes, sir. Uh, why don't you start by taking the rightmost path into the main bedroom area, which will lead you to the top of the staircase, and then you continue going left, then taking a right down that hallway, and then leading yourself directly into the main uh, bedroom. I see a lot of comic uh, posters. Casey. Here's our lounge. Yep, there's the lounge. There is the library. There is the that dog. Is not... And you're in the wrong fucking place. There you go. Welcome to the main bedroom. Where pretty much, as I like to call it, my little home away from home whenever I am in Gotham City and I need to do my fucking nonsense, such as uh, looking up specific information that needs to be looked up. And primarily making sure that these goddamn animals stop destroying most of my fucking house. Thank Christ they respawn. <laughs> That's all I'll say on uh, that. I have, I have my own personal library, my own personal fucking table with, uh, uh, I, I nicknamed it a self-portrait, but that's, um, that, that's not, yeah, that's not me. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, that looks almost like that. Isn't that like Lucifer that's, somewhat? No. No, no. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's Vandal Savage. Thank that's you. That's the, the guy I was first... trying to think of. 
that's the first human on Earth to ever obtain a, a superhuman ability because he's a fucking caveman who obtained his powers from an alien spaceship. What are his alien powers? Immortality. What a great little gimmick, huh? Yeah. Uh, the the primary uh, structure that you see before you right over there the app is going to become our little league table as soon as I get the chairs for it, which are very expensive. For Fuck some, me. For some odd fucking reason. Casey, it's three million dollars a chair. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, okay. Han, I would recommend I would recommend moving your controller so you don't get desynced. Hey. Thanks, crypto. God damn yeah, it, that... dog. Thanks a bunch, crypto. So why don't we you make... bitch? Yeah, crypto does that. So why don't we make our way to the secondary room, uh, which is our primary library, it's where I where I you know it canonically do most of my case studies work, whatever needs to be done done. Uh, documentation, shit like that. That's why there's a secondary library all set. And this will eventually become what I like to call the party room. So big ass, so big ass flat panel TV up on the wall. We got, uh, we got a craps table, yeah, a roulette uh, table over here. We got a piano for the more uh, musically sec- inclined of us. Yes, and a fireplace in the back as like just a little extra something something. Yep. No, uh, but. Where the true magic really does happen is behind this little fucking case. So let me just open that up for you. And in true Batman style fashion, welcome we... to the X Cave. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I kind of stole the world's largest fucking quarter. Uh, <laughs> I am on the current. I am currently on the search right now for the world's largest vending machine. <laughs> We have a bat wing on display, bat I wonder signal if they, above the door with I wonder if they'll have the world's largest chips. Yes. Uh world largest can of soda, which I will fucking drown in. Uh we have <laughs> our bat wing on display that uh, was given to me by uh, good old fashioned Brucey Wayne. Uh a bat style bat computer in the background. And, of course, a bat signal with two uh, warning lights to let me know uh, crisis level. Left side starts flashing. I know it's a level one fucking status. Pretty much regular criminals are running amok. If it's the other light going off and the first one is not on, that means super criminals are about. And if both of them are going off at the same fucking time, oh, boy, either Dark Side, Doomsday, or, you know, any other of these super like omega level fucking villains are out doing their thing. So, so basically, left right, it's just it left right easy night, right light harder night. F- both lights. Oh my fuck! It's the apocalypse. Get the hell out there now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Uh, run as fast as humanly possible. Grab, get two so of each animal be- and head for the border. So that being said, obviously I put the safe back here and I have the teleporter at will just in case if I ever need it. Uh, one, two, three, four suits of armor in case if I ever need it based upon threat level. Uh, of course, 100%, I wanted a Thomas Wayne fucking bat suit. Because of course you did. Because if you think... I- uh, all the way down at the bottom is a gift from our local Aquaman, a statue and throne for the King of Atlantis. And right here is my fucking Lazarus pit. Please don't ask why I built one. It's more the fact that I said, hmm, if shit ever hit the fan, where would I go? Not to, so, not, yeah, to Ra's Ra's Ghoul, a... not to Ra's al Ghul anymore, because that motherfucker's dead. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dead. So back up to the top again. And as in true Batman fashion. Make our way to the top close our secret passageway and yeah i'm gonna be de- i i will be adding more to this place i literally got it yesterday to give or two days ago to give you an idea of how long i've had this place for so i have i've tried filling it as much as humanly possible and back to the main foyer uh where we have some new additions that are primarily for this house such as my new fucking bodyguards 
boys? <laughs> are those sentries? Yeah, those are uh, also known as the wing armor, also known as hellbat units. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Casey, if you think that uh, that's bad, Barbara? Surrender yet? <laughs> Oracle unit? So sick of how many jerks don't yeah, Barbara uh, has been building a lot of robots specifically for backup. <sighs> But, you know, if shit ever hits the fan and it's super hard and, you know, the boys behind me decide to, you know, I don't know, randomly fucking explode. Um, that was perfect timing. Just going to let that be known right now. Did not plan that. <laughs> uh, if that ever, if shit ever hits the fan, well, I always call upon my favorite genre. Yeah. Star, Star Row the Conqueror. Star the Conqueror, because he knows his fucking place, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, random question. I am Starro, random, I yeah, random question. Conquer. Uh, do you think Starro has a brother? Uh, well, if Lillian was down here, there would be triplets. <laughs> oh God, Casey, Casey, there's Casey, they're staring off. <laughs> Casey, they're staring off. Be careful. Oh Lord. Now, I know that we're showing stuff off because we can at the current moment in time. Yeah. But what if I was to tell you, Casey, that I'm actually Batman? We are all one sorrow. Go away, Casey. You will do nicely. Wait, literally? Uh, take a look in front of you. I am. What the shit? I'm Batman. I am Starro. I have come to conquer. When I said I was Batman, I said I was Batman, dude. There we go. Back to normal. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much the house. That's the house for right now. Uh, I'm going to absolutely be doing way more work in the future to try to get this a little bit nicer, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, that being said, the primary room, which, of course, fucking lined my room, of course, being lined with Superman posters pretty much all the way to the room. Which is a shock to absolutely nobody. Hey, I can't help it if I love the character that much, dude. Hey, nobody, um, sa <laughs> nobody said we blamed you. And as you can see, the two TVs on the wall, the one on the left is showing Gotham City's current news, and the one on the right, uh, that's the Fortress of Solitude cameras. Because, uh, yeah, I got this big fucker in the back, which is a Kryptonian supercomputer. So, yeah, um, if it isn't the fact that I have Crypto and fucking Streaky the Super Cat, which, speaking of which... Oh, you can feed them. I can feed just him. Fuck Streaky. Don't worry. <laughs> I will take care of you, Streaky. I will kill that cat. I'm kidding. No. So, uh, Case. So, Case, I'm going to recommend you press start. You go to world map. You go to warp menu. And you go to house of legends. Prepare for the biggest update that this game has seen in about a year. I'm gone. I will meet you there, brother. All I'm going to say is prepare yourself for a multiverse. Welcome to the Multiverse Hub. Uh, before you keep moving forward, good sir, to give you an idea of Grand Scope, please look behind you at our map. Yeah, well, remember when I said Multiverse? So, follow me, good sir. Oh, by the way, if you ever need to get to Arkham Island, 
there are teleporters located on the left and right that will lead you directly there because of the Halloween event. So you will always have access to my home. Cool. In case if shit ever hits the fan, make your way back to Arkham Manor because that's where things are going to start getting a little bit more interesting. Down our main hallway here, we lead ourselves into the uh, the hub world, which uh, is fucking massive. Really? <laughs> Uh, yeah, case. I let's, see a uh, lot of P I see a lot of PVP going on. There's a lot of PVP going on, obviously, in the main hall. But you should also notice that there's a lot of names that have purple. Over yes, them. those are villains. Those are not? villains. Yes, and if you look right in front of you, that is the uh, multiverse nexus. All the Earths in that one tube. Oh, no, okay, so that's just all the Earths that currently are being watched over. Uh, next to you is uh, Asshole. We don't talk about him. He's kind of useless. Doesn't really do too much. So let's start from the left side of the room, all the way over here. We're going to start all the way to the edge. And start making our way forward this way. Okay, she said you love the gentleman. Hey, John Boy! Hang, hang on a second. So, sec. I will... Good, Go for it. good, sir. I salute this lantern. Yeah, that's all. Anyway. Yeah, so uh, we'll continue. Obviously, Booster Gold is here because Booster Gold is here. Uh, nah, man. Speaking of people that are, speaking of people that are on here, give me just a minute. I have to grab uh, somebody and add them into the call. This will just take a moment, good sir. Yep. There we go. Um, Booster Gold obviously is your quirks guide. This is where you're going to be primarily getting all of your extra added items and bullshit that you need uh so yeah this is where you're going to get all your crazy cool armor such as the uh the green knight costume which is just fucking radical looking i love it i use that as my primarily uh my primary rage costume in game at the top of course the atom ladies and gentlemen this the scariest hero of them all because it can shrink to the size of an atom the atom this fucking character is super interesting. I would recommend reading his comics. Speaking of reading of his comics, John fucking Constantine. Jesus the strongest Christ. magic user. Literally the strongest, one of the strongest magic users in the world. And if we keep going all the way to the end over here, we have Rick Hunter. And Ninja Batman. And Ninja Batman. Which, uh, yeah, he's sh sh straight up just a ninja. Oh, and if you think that shit's crazy, dude, come all the way up here. <laughs> Hi, cybernetic and space commander Lex Luthor. <laughs> well, I can safely say that I was not prepared for this experience. I am quite literally talking to myself. <laughs> A head up his own literal ass. Follow me, good sir. Now, all the way in the back over here is Lady Blackhawk and Forge Master Hawkman. Oh, yeah. That, honestly, Forge Master Hawkman, I really get into a fight with. Yeah, no. I won't deny that. I want to fight him. I'm dead fucking serious. On the other side of the room, obviously... Uh, we have, of course, Dr. Fate on the other side of Dr. Fate, by the way, of the wall is just kind of a random goon that gives you all the uh, the Flashpoint universe-like stuff. Vandal we have, Savage. of course, yep, Vandal Savage, the old man who's on my wall. And, of course, Chang Shu. Or, as I like to call him, the very angry, humpty, fucking dumpty of a man. <laughs> uh, he primarily gives you just like backup whenever you need it. He uh, primarily uh, consumes source marks. So like if you need like Brainiac drones or 
maybe I don't know a father box or a tier three fucking level controlled Starro or I I don't know maybe snake turrets or you know anti-material turrets he's the guy you come to because he has all that crazy stupid ass technology also hi Matt yeah hello what a pain in the ass it was to get on holy shit I would imagine Jesus Christ I assume Mike told you my whole situation yes he did Hey, it's Steve Travers, also known as Wonder Woman's bit. I mean, Wonder Woman's boyfriend. It's Wonder Woman's bitch. Uh, Cyborg. Uh, oh, hi, Victor Stone. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Case. <laughs> Damn. Um, and then, of course, uh, do not break his skin, or you fuck the universe because it's Captain Adam. I I I am dead serious right now, Casey. There is a reason why Kingdom Come happens as a storyline, and that's because of this gentleman here gets his skin broken and fucking explodes like a bomb. And uh, yeah, when I say that there are multiple variants of characters, Blue Lantern Flash is here. In our next room, which will be uh, this away leads us to from what I remember specifically being uh, the shopping center. Nope, sorry, it's the training room. Oh, hi, Star Welcome Sapphire Wonder the, Woman. I know, right? Uh, and then, of course, your two people that are going to be training you primarily are Nightwing and fucking Deathstroke. In other words, you want and that good training. And then, of course, you have Steampunk Batman and Alexander Luther. And on the other side, all the way over here, is the entirety of the fucking Justice Society. The entire Justice Society. Jay Garrick, Alan Which Scott, is... Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, Alan Scott's weakness is wood, and Jay Garrick gets his superpowers from I inhaled the fumes too much. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding when I say that. So, so Alan, the cool part about Alan Garrick. So Jay Garrick is a fucking junkie. No, no, no. Okay, let me let me say this. He was working with scientific chemicals, right? And accidentally breaks a vial open, and instead of putting something to cover his mouth, he literally inhales all the chemicals and fucking gets superpowers. So the cool part about the new training system. Didn't it allows dad, you to finally figure out... Didn't your dad do something it? similar and burn down a chem lab? Uh, we can't... Illegally, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, the cool part about the new training system with the sparring system going on... You get to train against multiple opponents to figure out what positives and weaknesses your abilities have. And then... Which is oh, right. super That's duper okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if we go all the way over here, Case, we have Lady Blackhawk and fucking the coolest dude ever, Wildcat, voiced by Arlie Ermy himself. Nice. Yeah, because it's badass. I didn't even realize he was still uh, around. Yeah. Wildcat? Well, Justice Society, remember? No, Case, no, no, uh, Ar Ar Arlie Ermy. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, I'm just saying that because Brave and the Bold used Arlie Ermey as the voice of uh, our boy, fucking Wildcat. So that's why I say, yeah, that's just Arlie Ermey. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, we're going to We're going to cut through here really quick and make our way across, avoid the Shazam. Make our way up the the ramp. They've yes, got please stay away. So please stay away from Zachary yep. Quinto. Yep. Uh, ambush bug. Nobody cares. Let's move on. So, welcome to the shopping center, Casey. Whatever you are ever looking for, rare styles of, of objects or items, haircuts, anything, this is where you come buy it. Nice. Literally 
anything that you could ever want or need for like your setups, your designs, your styles, everything is located in this fucking hall. And I mean literally everything to the uh, original three goddamn members of the Justice League. To, uh, whoa! You know, having, you know, literal Star Labs equipment at your disposal whenever you need it. Yeah. To, I don't know, Case, maybe Mr. Miracle being, you know, selectable or having fucking Zatanna talk to Power Girl. Blue Lantern Power or, you Girl know, specifically. Or, you know, Star Sapphire Zatanna. Or, you know, Metamorpho, who's, like, stupidly fucking strong. To, let's see, Red Tornado. Nube, who's also pretty sick. To uh, the greatest homeboy of them all, the Martian Manhunter, as a green fucking lantern. He should be the most powerful. Uh, to all the way down here, Brother Wrath, or Brother Wart, they should say. Super fucking sick. Literally, he is the Hindu god Ganesh as a, as a fucking blue lantern. That's so sick. And on the other side of the room, if you're ever like, okay, maybe one day I want to make a villain character so I can get all the villain shit. Uh, no, you don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> they sell every piece of villain hardware item that you could ever want. Nice. Uh, fun, so fact, you... fun fact, Harley Quinn Go sells it. lantern gear for some reason, so keep that. Oh, it's Calabac, the son of uh, Darkseid. You can tell by his very angry ape-like face. Yes. And the fact that the last time that he showered was yes. <laughs> The monitor and I are lucky to have the assistance What's of up, Earth brother blood? See you later, brother blood. Oh, brother blood. And then of course oh, And then of course the three primary members of the Legion of Doom. And then of course the greatest fucking Batman character ever, Lady Shiva. She is so sick. She sells mostly PvP gear. Huh. Which you can now get with source marks. So PvP, don't need to do that ever again. You awesome. never need to do PvP ever again. Thank, thank God. Well, I, dude, they gave up on PvP like in 2014. That's the last time PvP ever saw like a major update. And I'm like, thank God, because it's so useless. It, it is just Did a I bunch want... of fucking nonsense. I want that aeronaut chest piece. That's really solid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas Wayne, future Lex Luthor, and who? And which Superman? Incorrect. Incorrect, because that's not, that's not Thomas Wayne. Oh, is that Hellbat Bruce? Nope. Hi, Damien. <laughs> oh, and uh, the Lex version of Superman here with his design. Case, if you made his skin a lot lighter and changed his hair to blonde, that's uh, that's a different Superman. Is it Cyborg Superman? No, uh, Matt, that's Nazi Superman. Oh, I see why they did what they did then. Yeah, it's we really don't need representation of the Twisty Windmill fan club. Yeah, because, we uh, are. Yeah, that, that we are quite good that on conceptually, that. That conceptually should have died out uh, years ago. 
years and years and years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, with that being said, Case, welcome to the new hub world. This is where you're going to be primarily doing all of your launches of most of your stuff. If you need to buy equipment, this is where you're going to be primarily going from this point on to get all your extra good shit. Pretty much, if you need equipment that's super powerful and will make you stronger, this is where you come to get it, my, my brother. Nice. Oh, uh, before we leave that room, my apologies, I probably should have mentioned this. You're probably going to ask the question, but what if I have mail? What if I want to sell stuff to the broker? What if I need to, you know, put stuff in a vault? Well, you just hop down here. And you have your email, you have your vault, and of course you have your broker. All simple access does not require you going to any certain parts of the map to try to find stuff. You can immediately just get it. Zero issue. Gives you more time to actually play the game and not have to worry about maintaining and managing all of your stuff. Thank I'm God. So I'm right. like way behind guys, so forgive me for being slow. Ah, dude, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't <laughs> guys even going through walls, And I'm struggling with that. Ah, don't worry about it. You're, you're good. Don't worry about it. You're all set. Alright. So, really quick, and I'm gonna go back go to my own base, and I'm going to yep. use that space theme. Okay, so here's my recommendation when you do that and this is just a really simple thing that even Matt will agree with, make sure that you relocate it first to a cheap location because it really doesn't matter where you put it. Yeah. Uh, the, the location Honestly, I got, it, the location I got is pretty cheap anyway, so. Yeah, well, I mean, you, I don't know if you can put it in the same spot because of the fact that would be like the system would fucking implode if you did that. I'm not sure. That seems like it would just be like, I, just, I don't know what to do here. Like, what, what what do you expect me to do? Like, what the fuck? It's like, I, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do with this information? Oh, by the way, I have a head cannon that I think is really funny. Slash makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, so you have you seen the movie Under the Red Hood? Yes. Okay. You know that Jason pulls out a crowbar, right? And starts beating the Joker with it? I do seem to remember that, yeah. Okay. My head cannon is that Alfred gave him the crowbar. <laughs> and the reason why is because if you're Alfred, right? And out of everything to survive that explosion... A pry bar would absolutely survive that type of explosion. Yeah. So so my head cannon, which could be wrong, and I'm okay with that, is Alfred finds Jason because he's not stupid. Alfred absolutely knows how to find Jason Todd. Yeah. And if goes, anybody would, it'd be and, Alfred. Yeah. And he straight up goes up to Jason, and this is what I've always imagined him saying is, do me a favor and make sure that that clown will never take another member of my family ever again. Yeah. Because, I'll be honest, Joker should be dead. Joker should be <laughs> dead. Out of all the characters. Dead. J Joker should be dead. The, the, the fact that there is a Joker fan club and people go, he's such a deep and interesting character, which I will not deny... Don't idolize the, the, the psychotic, please. No. Please. Don't, don't idolize the crazy. That's how you get maniacs that are fucking absolutely off their rocker. Why did I just hear a dog? I don't know. That was know. a cat. Hello, Death a Guy. Cat? Will you be my girlfriend? Will you be my fucking Goyle friend? Well, I know what I just bought for my house. Yeah? I bought a saber-toothed tiger. God fucking damn it, Mike. Matt, I need to own 
all of the extinct animals. I got a cool cat named Tiki so, or something. So, I'm am I set. correct in assuming? Am I correct in assuming that five hundred and twenty-five dollars is the lowest you can uh, pay for a base? Ah, uh, yes. Then good. That's what I did. I found one of the cheapest places I could. That's the smart choice. I mean, I put the manor on the most expensive property that I could absolutely afford. Because that's what you do with a fucking manor? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to put the manor in a place that people go, why the fuck would you put that there? And I will reply with, uh, try to fucking stop me. Yeah. Right now, I dare you to stop me. Okay, so you uh, have the camo oh, in the chat, this right? this looks... Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, because I just want to make sure before uh, eventual language starts being thrown around. Yeah, exactly. Also, my God, look at this fucking view. Okay, so Case, what you're going to want to go do is go to the central console. The mainframe, you mean? Um, yes, go to the mainframe and uh, go to permission. And then enter... And are you... Are you located in Metropolis or Gotham? I am in Gotham. Okay. That makes sense because why wouldn't you be, right? Yeah. Since Batman's your mentor. Yes, and Gotham seems to be home to all the tech heroes. Also, while I'm waiting for you yes. guys to come by, I will go put my drink back in the fridge. So I shall be right back. At all, brother. I'm pretty sure I'm in Gotham. Let me look at my map. Did you go outside? Let me uh, let me go outside. Yeah, let me be absolutely sure because I'm pretty sure. Turn, turns out he's a Metropolis. Watch. It would it would not surprise me. Let's be honest. Mike, did you do yeah. base checking? Yeah, I already got that. Like, put in. Okay, just making sure. He is uh, smart enough to do this. I am not the call of lead. The core. The mother of Nope, I'm in Gotham. Uh Okay, I did not see you on my uh, on my that's uh, cause, thing. So. That's because I was actually in my base. I still should be able to see it, good sir. Hmm. Here's what I would recommend. <sighs> Apologies. Quickly rename it to something that would be easy for you to remember. <laughs> All right, and I do that from inside the actual base? Yes, you have the option to rename it. Cool. Rename it to whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, because now it's not showing up for me either. Oh, he's got to give us permission, right? Yes, he does. But we should still be able to see his base on map. Not until he gives us permission, no. Well, Carl, no, are you sure? Because Carlene was able to see my base last night. She followed us there, didn't she? I think, well, to be fair, she's also just started playing the game as well, so... There's also that.
It's generic as fuck, but there you have it. I'm calling it the lookout. Hey. Boop. Yeah, that is pretty generic. Dude, I named mine Vanguard One, okay? <laughs> don't don't feel bad. Truly, truly a hole of the ass. I can't see it still. Oh, the lookout, I see it, I see it. He is in the Gotham of City. Yeah, I'm in Gotham. Yeah, I'm in Metropolopolis still. I went to Metropolopolis real quicky. Casey, I can't wait for you to see Colleen's character. Oh god. I'll give you a hint. Emo dragon. No response. That's exactly how I... Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, all three of you hey. have permission to enter, so... Whenever you want to come by. Guess who's already I'm stopping on my by? Way. I'm on my way. I'm running at full speed. I can fly, so that doesn't matter. Okay, Matt, you ready for the serious questions? Yeah, what up? What member of the what member of the, the DC universe has the greatest ass? <laughs> Dude. Straight up, Nightwing. Yeah, why? Because the fans named his ass cheeks. Wait. You're shitting me. No, I'm not kidding you at all, Casey. Are you really surprised that the fucking comic book fan base named, it, named this gentleman's ass cheeks? I really shouldn't, but that's like naming Jennifer Love's, Love Hewitt's tits. No, not at all. You know why? Because is it, Casey, have you seen Nightwing's ass? I've not looked. You probably should. You all understand why his ass got, his butt cheeks got individual names. Dude, do you see that? I see it off in the distance. It's I scary. I know it is. I can see the earth. Whoops. It's a real positive. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that was perfectly timed. Oops. Matt, you want to call your goyle friends, and I'll call my robot friends? My sexy alien girlfriends, yeah, hello. Okay, so you better put a bed in this place soon, because there's going to be a whole lot of sex. I'm going to fuck my girlfriend. I see it. <laughs> I see it on your social media. You are the creator of sex. I need big cook. Big cook for madam. <laughs> Casey, are you sure that these are not your robots? They're literally in your fucking color scheme. <laughs> you know what? I got an idea. I wonder if this will work. I really do wonder if this will work. Give me like two... Give me like a second, if you will, to, to see if this shit would work. Okay, just give me like mm, like a couple seconds, you know. Oh god, Matt's a blue lantern. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, Are you surprised by that? Yeah, he likes uh he changes his his colors like uh Whitney Houston changed her hair to Yeah, take a look at this one. This ain't even a lantern. I'm just I'm just I drank too much Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> oh damn, I can't give it to you. Oh well. What were you gonna try and give me? I was gonna try to give you my minions. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. Stop. What's wrong, Lillian? They put the Mantra Chief in the DCU online. Hey, man, uh, you may want to check your Xbox messages really quick. Oh, uh, did you find Mr. Chief? Uh, yeah, he's also going to be joining uh, uh, a certain faction soon. The Red Lantern? No. Yeah, you'll see. Master Chief, do you mind telling me what you're doing in that Lantern Corps? Sir, raging. Oh, fuck. America looks great from here. Yeah, too bad that's the only thing you see. Oh, no, it's slowly turning. Hello, darkness. Oh, that looks so cool. I've never noticed the fact that the lights start, like, getting super bright to show, like, a network of, like, the electrical systems across the U.S. This just shows Case, that the here. U.S. is the only place with electricity. Case, come in. You're missing oh, out on this so great cool. event. Oh, there goes Matt. That's what so do you mean? Cool. I'm right here. If you're gone on my screen, it says that you logged out. Yeah, same. I'm right yeah. next to you. It says that you logged out. 90k incoming? I can see the earth. It's beautiful. Mm. Ground control. This is the fury. I'm coming home. Now, when are we going to get, like, just a big sliver of light, and it's just called Japan? <laughs> oh, wait, there's, I think that's, I think that's Hawaii. That is Hawaii, it looks like, yeah. Hawaii. I really logged out him, right? I'm still here. No, the, the, yeah, it literally, like, you're not next to me. Is he phased out? Like, no, he's just not there. It literally, ha I have... A thing in my fucking chat box that says your friend hopes Vanguard has logged out. You are not standing next to me right now. It took a long time to log me out because I just got kicked from the server. I'll be back in. Oh right shit. Now. Okay, that was weird. I'm just like he's gone. Like you were standing right next to me, and then immediately you went and Oof. disappeared from reality. Yeah. Right. So, Case, what are you thinking of doing for the um, the room here? Because uh, you definitely are going to need a bed. Yeah. You're definitely going to need to put some walls up so that way you get some privacy when you're in your bed. Yep. You're definitely going to need a kitchen. You're definitely going to need a table to eat at. And you're definitely going to need some type of thing to put your dish and stuff in. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, hey. You know, what, you know what else I'm going to need? Some good fucking gear. What? Mm -hmm. Hey, you ready to start to win that? Let's fucking do it. On duty. And say hello to the scariest screen in the entire game. Nah, it's not letting me join. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do something. Are we doing Save the Universe, Omnibus, Fall Seasonal? What are we doing? Uh, I'm gonna take a look and see what we can do. I'm gonna see if we can do... Uh... Seasonal to see if you can actually do that at your current level. That's an Absolutely. eight person thing. It's a four person thing. No, it's an eight. For fall seasonal. Yeah. The thing that literally says to me that it is alert, which is a four player map. Woman? I understand that you're surrounded by green fireflies, but stop bugging out. <laughs> I 
I know my shit, woman. And you need to stop fucking doing that thing with your face where you think that I'm always wrong. I don't always think you're wrong. Just sometimes. Woman, honey, you fucking autocorrect me Lillian? more than spell check. Lillian, <laughs> even... <laughs> Lillian, even I have to call bullshit there. You shut up. Hey, there he See, is. See, you hurt Casey. See, you hurt Casey. What a color scheme we got going on. We're the Wiggles. We're the Wiggles. Oh, oh you're gone. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Matt. I couldn't edge you to the group fast enough. I'll join in next time. Don't worry. Catch you later, Space Cowboy. I'm not a cowboy. Okay. Catch you later, Space Fireman. What was once a masquerade That's more of like it. Is now shrouded in genuine evil. To hey, look, it's self, the Phantom Stranger, also known as that guy who's named the Phantom the Stranger. Why do I look like I want to fucking beat him now? They become ready. Because you probably do. I, because yeah, that's I, just I, you. I why does everybody think I'm a hyper violent asshole? Because you're a red lantern. Are you enjoying the party? That's right. I'm not the one that kills the yeah! entire yeah! fucking group. Not to make fun of us on Halloween. And Lillian's getting kicked in the fall. Pilgrim. I'm a witch boy. Clarion, you've lost control of your little prank. It's not too late to put things Teacher, right. Would you say fate has brought us to this moment? I summon the almighty push. Get that bitch, boys. I am my own master. You've got to stop them. What? Those spells went up to my standards. Barber, kick his ass. Perhaps Zatanna's magic will entertain you. Presto, change him. Drop the ball. Are we dual star starrowing this bitch? Maybe we can lend you a hand. I so brought out Starro. Of my Starro. I'm teleporting the magical magnet in now. When it's full, you'll need to release the apparitions into the spectral retention chamber. We'll be sending it in shortly. They're coming to get us, Barbara.
kid like he owes me fucking lunch money. How about you just offer him a Snickers for his soul? Also, that cat is totally just giving him the eye. I've channeled your dark magic into an augment for good, and have bestowed a portion of it upon these heroes. Now, be gone from here. Who are you to lecture me, phantom stranger? Thought you weren't supposed to interfere with us mortals. I won't forgive you for ruining my Halloween. Who the hell's Brat? The, oh. ran the rando that uh, that we were doing this with. What a fucking name, Grat? It yeah. might just be G-Rat. Oh, that's even worse. Yo, how you doing? My name is G-Rat. And I'm here to tell you that you should go to school, kids. <laughs> ah, the most powerful superhero. Grant. While you guys are uh, coming back out here, I'm going to uh, head up to the, the uh, what do you call it, the the damn uh, the, the House of Legends and uh, get that little objective out Case, of the way. Case, you want to you, you save yourself some time? Just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the, uh, the, uh, the new hub world. <laughs> Done. Solved your issue within a second. Yeah. You're going. To, you're going to the new hub world. Yeah. You're everyone will. Everyone will instantly know what I'm talking about. Heroes and villains. Yes, it's the new you hub must world. Prepare for the trials because I am we elsewhere. don't care Our about the old hub world anymore. Right now. Yeah. House. The the watchtower is pretty oh, fucking no. empty. <gasps> Start with that is. Fugenaut, guardian of the orrery of worlds. Lillian, you okay? I found Isis. Yeah, did you go to the Middle East? Because that's where they kind of are. Now, if nobody got that joke... No, I did. I was just saying, if nobody got that joke, you're either too young to understand, or, yeah, you're just too young to understand. The absolute highest tier equipment can be found on an assistant close to Tempest Fugenaut. Uh. I pulled into Nazareth, was a feeling about half past the end. I went to the place where I could rest my head. Hey, Mr. King, tell me where a man might find a bed. He took my hand and all he said, go fuck yourself, kid. And I said, whoa. Take whoa, a load dude. off, man. Take you're, a load you're being a little rude. Free. Just saying, you're a little rude. Outgrown gear can be sold for cash, and, or even better, salvaged into exabytes. You put the load right on me. Like these. 
Well, it looks like I'll be doing this like five times. John Constantine Why? power up artifacts. So I can get ISIS. You stabilize quarks, and Dr. Faith offers daily reports. You guys able to add your members have hired a guide for you in the training area. What was that? They have assured me. Are you guys able to add me to the group yet? Uh, I will in just a moment, good sir. I just left that location, so it'll take a sec. Hone your abilities here. Practice against the trainers or reset your skills via this interface. Learn to watch your back because nobody else will watch it for you. Certainly not your so-called mentors. Reminder, the monitor is interested in cooperation. We have one last place to visit before I leave you with allies. Hey, uh, Harbinger, how about you walk out of a shower again with just a towel on? What? That was the first way I was introduced <laughs> to her was in the Supergirl, uh special book that uh oh god what the hell is his name i'm blanking on who wrote that i still have it somewhere i think but that was the first way i was introduced to her there was a panel where she was coming out of the shower and just had a towel on i know i tried to get one ambush bug all up in your fourth wall this room is for you what the faucet spin at you yes. the cool teleporters to places i was you may kidding visit. but oh wow now, once a year unlocks I legends use... exobytes the pvp system with some of dc's oh. coolest characters that can always use Washington. more cannon fodder these you use the sprayer it's the most important to the monitor First, why did you use the sprayer I used to no, know the faucet's the most efficient. And that tiny little faucet near the coffee machine is filtered. If you were one filter. Six feet under. I used to love Didn't know you could pull it out. Kill her. 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 Well, he admitted it! I mean, oh, he's not. No, he isn't. Cyborg is developing a method for more easily calling in allies. The tour is complete, but please, see Cyborg next. Wait, is Cyborg trying to find easier ways to do teleportation? Or is he trying to find easier ways for people to pick up the phone? Come see me. That's pretty easy to do. Allow me to show you. Hey, Duque! What? Pick up the phone! You're adorable. <laughs> Yo. What's up? Yeah. Chance, can we ever talk about how awesome that commercial is still to this day? Which one again? Do you not remember the What's Up commercial? The Ooh, yeah. Can you believe? I this just place? remember the meme. Allies from all across time and space. Yeah, it was and I've been a system to connect. Everyone. Oh shit! This must be Martin in the, the chat. What's up, dude? Basic team for you when something ominous arrives. A batarang from the dark multiverse, with your name, a location under Crime Alley, and instructions to come alone. It's obviously a trap, so if you do choose to go, please be careful. No. So, this guy is telling me, uh, so this, this quest is telling me to go to the dark multiverse Batcave. I'm assuming I don't want to go there yet? Uh, you can absolutely go there right now if you wanted to. That's up to you. Can't download both Xbox. Doesn't have. Or can't take it to all. Almost all of them. Yes, as you've seen. Okay, so if I decide to do I know. I know what that's like. I absolutely know what that's like. 
What? Uh, I'm talking to Martin in the chat. The phone said she will talk to Oh, uh, well, well, what she did he ask? Uh, I, I asked him what was up. He said nothing much, man. Just trying to stay awake. And I'm like, I get that. Go to sleep. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to do your body a whole lot better when you're actually, like, you know, well rested. Nightmarish. It has to be the fat man who laughs. This is going to be a problem. You did or not case, tell me as you would I be up against the bat who laughs. I never said anything. And Where Case is dealing with. Well, Case is dealing with the uh, the dark multiverse uh, side mission at the moment, and I never said anything. The only thing that I said is, Case, I can't wait for you to learn the new nickname that I was given to that man who laughs. The marsupial that does the chuckling. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal and tip your servers. Also, I found the fucker, but let's take care of uh, everything else going on. I found. I found the fucker. Batman Who Laughs is the best Batman. Uh, if you're into the horror and what if aspect, yeah, it's kind of hard to beat. Uh, the best Batman ever, personally, at least just for me, uh, is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> or, you know, Dick Grayson, because Dick's fucking super sick as Batman. I totally forgot there was a point where he wore the power. Oh uh, yeah, he wore the cowl and he uh, became uh, the Batman that quips. <laughs> the quipping bat. <laughs> ah, the quipping bat. You must be the Batman that quips. Apparently, Mortal Kombat 11 has a laughing bat outfit for Noob Cybot. Yes, it does. And it's... Uh, it's okay, it looks really awkward because the mouth doesn't move when he talks properly. It's alright. I mean, it's an okay storyline, honestly. I like the Batman Who Laughs because of the fact of how different it is compared to the 8 billion other DC things that they have done. But I think the best part is what he does to just fucking... Goody Two Shoes Clark Kent's family, which is super fucked up, and I'd rather not get into it at this current moment in time. But the only thing I will say is, it's not for the faint of heart. I, I think it's safe to say DC's dark metal in general is not for the faint of heart. Oh no, not at all. Especially with all the origin stories. Yes. Jesus Christ, all the origin stories. Of. I will say, of the Batman stories that I've read, I think my favorite one thus far is either Court of Owls or Long Halloween. Oh, I thought you were going to say The Dark Knight Returns. That would have been way too obvious. Yes, because Dark Knight Returns is super fucking good. <laughs> super fucking good. Ooh, sorry. Soft luck. You have to be smarter than that. <laughs> I don't think that's how he would sound, honestly. Martin says, which like, is more fucked up? What Injustice Joker did to Superman, or what the Laughing Bat did to Superman? Uh, definitely what the Laughing Bat, because he kills the entire Justice League within a single day, kills the entire Bat family within a single day, takes Clark, takes his son Jonathan, takes Lois, has them in a room, throws a piece of black kryptonite in between the three of them, John and fucking Clark go at each other and rip each other literally apart, and then, uh, about a good five minutes later, uh, go one-on-one -on -one in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and John fucking wins, and then Batman Kent takes Jonathan Kent and torches him inside the Batcave to turn him into a robin. Oh, spilling anything on me. It's one thing to nuke the baby, it's another thing to have the baby oh, rip dad the fuck apart. 
You're here because I need something from you. And you will need something from me. The hilarious thing is... And I will forever say, nobody in the world, or at least nobody that I know in this world, will be able to challenge me with my stupid-ass knowledge of comic books. Apparently Injustice, Joker, apparently Injustice Joker blew up Metropolis and made Superman kill Lois. Yeah, but in the other timeline, it's so much worse. Because he doesn't just kill Lois, he kills everybody. Batman Who Laughs kills the entire fucking planet Earth till there's nothing, nothing left but him and his Robins. Like, Injustice is pretty bad because of the fact it's like, oh yeah, he makes Lois murder fucking, or he makes Clark murder Lois. But having Clark and John fight like fucking animals till one of them wins? Yeah, sorry, Chief. That's way worse. That's way worse. Including the fact that Bruce breaks his one rule, which is, uh, you know, killing. Big talk from someone who's going to the deepest, darkest dungeon. And hey, being able to send you allies? Pretty clutch. I knew this would be useful. I'll have details for you when you get back. Also, to go off the point, by the way, and Martin, if you're listening, this is the only thing I have to say. The Injustice storyline, straight up, Alfred's dead. In the... Batman who laughs storyline Alfred gets tortured in the bottom of fucking uh, Wayne Manor inside the Batcave in the darkest part of, of the Batcave for a solid year that is way worse than nuking Metropolis especially when you think about that Bruce did that to his dad like literally his father figure he just said, eh, eh, you're getting locked away for the rest of, uh, yeah, for the rest of time. Till I get bored. Whew, that was too close for comfort. I'll set it up so your allies have your back reliably and figure out ways to strengthen your team. Check it out. Oh, cool. Casey got that, uh, got, uh, Oracle. Allies menu and equip ally. Oh, there's also the fact, and this is just coming to me now. Uh, on that Earth, the Joker straight up poisons Bruce with a batch of fucking Joker toxin that's permanent. After uh, making Bruce kill him, and watching or in making Bruce watch as he kills a whole bunch of orphans. Sorry, makes a whole bunch of orphans. Let me say that correct. Anyway, you want to talk about fucked up comic book storylines? Nothing is going to beat Black Manta. Sorry. Nothing is ever going to top what Black Manta does to fucking uh, Aquaman. Nothing. There's nothing. There is nothing in comics that is ever going to top what Black Manta does to fucking Aquaman and Aquaman's family. It is so well, fucked up that DC really immediately tried to backtrack. No and that's rare for them to do. Thing has played a hell of a trick on the people of Gotham. 
Trick-or-treaters are being terrorized in the streets by spooky masked apparitions. Thank you for heeding the call. I sense the evil magic of the Lords of Chaos at work. The streets of Gotham City are plagued by masked apparitions. Spirits torn from the depths of hell. I will bestow upon you a temporary consecration. You will have the power to put these spirits to rest. Uh, Case, are you talking to, um... Phantom Stranger. What's his... Oh, I was going to say Dr. Doctor Fate, but what's the fucking difference? Dr. Stranger! <laughs> oh, wait, that's a Marvel character. Who yeah, cares? Yeah, it's Marvel. It's not like it's impossible. They literally are the same fucking character. <laughs> Though I like Dr. Fate's outfit, minus the helmet. Yeah, agreed. But what are you gonna do, right? When when you make a character with a very specific design, I always say stick with it. There's no reason to change it if it's good. Mm. Also, one of these days, case I have to have a segment called "Likes Dumb Answers of Comic Books." <laughs> Because I know so much stupid comic book nonsense that really doesn't matter whatso fucking ever. How about you give us a preview? Okay. Did you know that Wolverine can't pop his claws unless his hands are absolutely straight? Because if he doesn't, he'll rip his fucking arms open every time. I am in over my head. Do you want help? Uh, yeah, where are you at? I'll come help you. I'm currently on Arkham. Uh, give me a moment to... Are you heading to the manor right now? Because I'm not even there, brother. No, I'm uh, I'm trying to um, do the Phantom Stranger's Journal mission. Oh, I would not recommend doing that at your current level. You have to be at least 68 to 72 to do that. Arkham session notes 1114. Miss Isley. Yeah, Kish, oh, uh, you want to you want to talk about fucked up in DC Comics lore? Mm -hmm. I got big one big for you, good sir. You ready? Give me a second to uh to crack my knuckles here. All right, so Black Manta uh, does probably the most fucked up thing I've seen in a comic in probably the clo uh, close to about two decades. Oh. He takes Aquaman's baby and suffocates the fucker to death. Jeez, uh-huh. No, no, no. I, I know somebody's going to sit there and say, that's not that bad. He took a Atlantean child, put him in a pure oxygen bubble, right? Now, Atlanteans can't breathe natural air. They have gills, right? You, they have gills. Now, I now want you to put two and two the fuck together and realize how horrifying that is. Yeah, because she put his ass in a bubble of oxygen. So that kid only had option A or option B. Pop the bubble and get out, which he's not going to have the strength to do. What's up, Zach? Or, or, you know, just straight up, you know, that you know, die, which is what happens. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fucked up, man. Dude, dude killed a baby. Like, like it, it doesn't matter after that point. If somebody goes, oh, the Joker poisoned, like, he killed Jason Todd by beating him to death. It's like, yeah, and Black Manta killed a baby. 
Yeah, but Lex Lex Luthor had the cure for cancer and did nothing with it. Yeah. And Black Manta and still Black killed Manta, a baby. Black Manta killed a baby. Yeah, but like... It's not as bad. Yeah, well, yeah, that's great. It's not as bad as when he killed a fucking baby. Dude, homeboy fucking killed a toddler. Well, home because girl he in was this case, that... but whatever. Black man is a guy. Could have sworn it was a chick. No. Yeah, Black man is. Black man has been a dude for like, ever. No, trust me, it's fine. I get the confusion from time to time. I get that. I'm just I'm just letting you know right now, Black Manta is a fucking dude. Also, Matt just logged out again. Yeah, I'm gonna conserve my hotspot, play offline games. That's all I got right now. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's cool, fair. Man. That is absolutely fair. If you want to hop uh, out of the call, you can't. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna take some time to myself for a bit. I'll talk to all you guys right. later. Yep, go to have a new one. Be safe. You too. Peace, man. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for joining. Yep. No problem. Okay, uh, um, I'm going through my tier one, uh, instances, not necessarily the, <laughs> who became a bitch add-on in DC and in Injustice 2. Wait, what? Uh, Martin says of Black Manta, who became a bitch add-on in, add-on DC in Injustice 2. Yeah, well, video games and comics are two separate things because vi video games, uh, they make one of them and then they're pretty much done. Comic books are never ending and need either weekly or monthly publication, so they have to come up with brand new stories. And yes, Black Manta was DLC, but always remember, I'd rather be the fucking DLC character that you dumbasses have to pay for than be a character that was included from day one. Just saying. Never talk smack about Black Manta because that dude straight up watched Aquaman kill his fucking dad and that's the entire reason why he went, all right, I am gonna murder every single fucking Atlantean that I see now. I don't even care. Homeboy's right, so, justified. So, sub avatar? Uh, that would be your right stick to summon the sub avatar. Oh no, I have to defeat Sub Avatar. It's a Brainiac thing in Gotham. Oh. Oh. That went right over my head. Can you tell that it's been a while since I played this game case? Like, almost like it's solid month? Uh, you and me both, and so. it's been a few months in my case. Remember when we said we we're gonna stream it like every week? Yeah, so much for that, huh? Yeah, things happen. Life happens, man. Yep. Alright, I'll meet you in Gotham. I'm on my way to the manor right now. My All big right. fucking super house. By the way, I don't know if Martin knows, but I cannot see the chat. And I have played Injustice. I, I absolutely have. And I will tell you right now, Batman Who Laughs is 100% much worse. <laughs> like, dude, straight up just kills. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, he he did say he did say true, true after hearing your argument. So I think you're good. There. Yeah, it, it's like there's one thing to destroy a metropolis. There's another thing to blow up the entire fucking planet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anything's going to be worse than Lex Luthor having the cure for cancer and literally doing fuck all with that information. Out of spite. Homeboy has the cure for cancer and literally tells nobody that he has the cure for cancer. Uh, Martin just messaged me that I, he knows I can't see the chat, so. Okay, yeah. A lot of the arguments that are, yeah, a lot of the arguments that are going to be going on are going to be like some weird fucking freeway thing that isn't going to work from. Casey, I'm on my way, don't worry. Okay, yeah. I'm I, here to throw punch. I I'm see here you. to throw punches and bunches. I see you, I see you. Or I see your icon, okay, rather. I am, I'm icon now. I don't want to be icon. Because I want that character to actually get some love. Because god damn it, he doesn't. God forbid DC 
slash uh, milestone decides to give this character some more fucking love that he deserves because he's so goddamn cool. Yeah. That being said, first things first, I gotta find this sub avatar to kick its ass. Yeah, usually that's the struggle on YouTube, brother, trying to find all the subs. Objective in sight. This is the YouTube quest line. <laughs> Lulz. Get as many subs as you can. Dude, did you get that YouTube sub? No, I went to the Italian restaurant. I got myself uh, a prosciutto sub. Also, hi, also, hi Lillian. Bye, Lillian. No. I'm gone. You'll never catch I me. I'll follow Too you. Strong. I will blow up the bridge. I'm not I'll, on I'll the bridge. I'll fucking kill a puppy. No. Don't kick the puppy. Kick the puppy. Martin, I will absolutely Martin, I will absolutely agree with you that I do feel bad that Black Lightning, one of the coolest African American fucking characters ever who grew up in the suicide slums of Metropolis, uh, as a literal skin for Raiden sucks, but at least he's in the game. I would have preferred Static Shock because Static is badass and he deserves way more love. Oh, yeah. Because Virgil motherfucking Hopkins deserves way more love. I assume that's Static. Oh, yeah. yes. Superhero, Static Shock. Static Shock. Man deserves a live action movie. He probably does, but I don't know how good it would be. Especially if they cast the wrong person. Like back in the day when Static first started coming out, people would literally say, oh, you know who should play him? Little Bow Wow. And it's like, what the fuck? No. Lillian, this is power. You know, the one thing I will give this game, as soon as you get up to that 200 plus threshold, man, does it feel good to punch something and have it just melt within a single hit. Yeah. Okay, so sub, so you have to find the sub avatar yeah. Let's see, I found a brainiac. He's somewhere by the um ocean side. We fought him, honey. Yeah, honey, we fought him. Like we kicked his ass. We yeah, fought he's him. somewhere by the water. Yeah, we fought him, Weather Wizard, fucking like a whole bunch of villains. Engaging enemy. No. Engaging enemy. Are you engaging the enemy? You should be engaged. Yeah, he was somewhere street side. Uh, hun, you search one side of the street and I'll search the other. It's not like you and I can't take a lot of those fucking hits from these enemy types. Okay. Yeah. Until we find the sub avatar. Besides, Man, I, really I hope... can one shot everything with just an arrow. I can one shot everything by blinking. <laughs> I wish he was making that up. I can literally blink something to death at this point. <laughs> I'll pretty eyes the shit out of that boss. <laughs> static, yeah, Static Shock deserves some more love, man. I have never played Genshin Impact, Martin, and I never will. I'm not yeah, interested. Yeah, Genshin's. I I am not interested in that type of stuff, honestly. 
I'm an I'm an old school anime nerd. I'll tell you that right now. But Genshin Impact, not my cup of tea. I'm not really into mobile gaming. Even though you can technically play it on PS4 and other consoles. You can, you can, but it's pretty much a mobile. Let's let's be a hundred percent honest, Casey. It's it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a mobile. It's a gotcha game. So exactly. I just don't even know what that it's is. It's a lolly game. A gotcha game? Was it Pretty inside? Much, uh, I don't remember being inside. I thought the sub avatar was outside because that's where all like the bosses are located. You know what, hun? Look it up on the uh, look it up on Google. Look it up on the giggle. On the goggle, if you will. The Goongola. Man, I like that we got the Ninja Turtles, but can we please get Casey Jones in a fighting game so that way I can say Oogula Oogula over the chat all the time and piss somebody off? <laughs> well, I want to like say Oogula Googula all the time. Uh, I, would, I would be that one guy that goes, well, looks like you're the one who needs to be taught a lesson, pal. Class is Pain 101. The instructor is Casey Jones. <laughs> Zach gets it. <laughs> I just want to say Google a Google all the time. That's all I want to say because Casey Jones is Italian, and we everybody kind of forgets that for some reason. I have a lot of people that forget that Casey Jones is fucking Italian, and I go, his name is Casey Jones. <laughs> like. If he, do I have to start calling him like Papa Marinara Sauce in order for you to figure out that he's Italian? He's up uh, there for I the found others. A sub you found a sub avatar? Where you at? No, I didn't. I found something different. I thought it was a sub avatar. It said Sunstone Destroyer, and I'm like, oh, that's not even the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so I saw a big shiny that looked different from all the other enemy types, and I went, that has to be the boss. I'm operating under literal 1990s logic. Oh, by the way, Case, if you ever get the chance, get the, um, because you should be able to download it because my profile is on your console. Hmm? Uh, the Castlevania HD collection uh, nice. is phenomenal. It's really, you gotta really like Castlevania. Mike, I'm a Metroid fan. That That's should tell you everything you need to know right there. Okay, see, Castlevania and Metroid are, I'm gonna tell you, besides Symphony of the Night, are not the same thing. Bro, if yeah. you only fucking knew. Okay, enlighten me, good sir. Symphony of the Night was just the first. Oh, I know. If okay, you trust me, I absolutely know. Every single handheld Castlevania game since has been a Metroidvania. Metroidvania. Yes. Uh, Casey, trust me, I know, and that's why I'm not a big fan of all the handheld Castlevania. I do not. I'm not a big fan of uh, any of the sorrow titles. I'm just not a fan because I miss being able to just start the game and immediately up Simon Belmont outside the castle. Cool, let's get started. Instead of I now have to spend the next fucking seven hours trying to figure out where to get better equipment and looking up a walkthrough online for eighty percent of everything that I need. I think that's why I didn't really like Metroid Prime as a kid. Ah. Is because to 100% that game, you literally need to know, oh, I found a heat wave. This is going to go swimmingly. Uh, I'll let you know, and he's dead. Um, there's one Flash villain down, I guess. I guess I'm fighting Flash villains. Um, 
yeah, Metroid Prime, if you didn't know about a certain scan, you could never get the 100% of a game, which is, like, behind some random fucking door that I you found can him. never go back to. You found uh, him? Did you? Good for you, sweetheart. Where, where you at? I'll tell you after this new commercial for Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has a billion champions and also sometimes doesn't function on your phone. Don't forget, most importantly, it only works when you take a big hulking shit on a toilet. Rage Shadow Legends. The fun starts somewhere else. I just don't know how to... Don't know how to what? Activate him. Activate whoops. Sub-avatar. Uh, the, what little I can find is saying that they take a while to be built. So we just need to stand around kicking the metal ass. ass. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Zack. Can't escape raid, no matter how hard he tries. Spray it in your eyes, and you'll escape the game permanently. Raid, it's good for killing bugs and being a mobile game. All right, I think we should let those pieces be delivered, so he rebuilds faster. So don't touch the union builders, just the constructor. I'm gonna be honest, honey, I heard the word constrictor and I went, I don't really want to fight a secret. Here we go. I'm coming. So about the boss, so okay. Uh, the gimmick next time is just like, let him do shit, I guess. I mean, not really. He just, 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 just fucking punch him, bro. Yeah, right. Yes, do you remember when we used to play the game of Bully the Minotaur? No, sorry, Lillian. Do you remember when we used to play the game of Bully <laughs> the Minotaur? Yeah. Back off. How bad can you bully the Minotaur before he cries? It's pretty solid. I got a new set of boots called Astral Eldrai. Which uh, I can't wait to put on. Yeah, I passed it off to you. Thanks. I really need more goddamn things to throw on my legs, I guess. Oh my fucking god! Honey? I'm coming. I mean, you don't have to. I could have just met you. I could have just met you somewhere else. Yeah, this is perfect. Don't look at my legs. <laughs> oh my god! I am the astral. Those have the galaxy theme. I am oh the god. astral albi. That's pretty freaking cool. on them. Eh. Eh. Why? Oh, perfect. Casey, I'm General Grievous. <laughs> no. I'm Darth Maul. No. Okay, now I'm Darth Maul. I'll be right back. No. no. We've optimized gear that'll help you take on even. What, I can't be Darth Maul? Duty. No. That's against the law? Yes. Aw, oh, but woman, I want to be Darth Maul. No. I want to I wanna be half the man I used to be. No. <laughs> well, I'm half the man I used to be. Half the man I used to be. I'm feeling to go. Stray. Feelings have gone 
fucking straight. Casey, am I doing good? Is the backup performance helping? Usually, Argus isn't too keen on free agents. After I, me. This guy will do good work in your hands. Every piece of gear has an item up. The higher, the better. And make sure you're picking gear that matches your preferred combat role. Oh, hi, you know what? I should start rocking soon. Mm. This shit. Mm. Why be powerful when you can be a god? I wonder if I'm ever going to hit the level cap in this game again. Because I did once, but that was like... <clears throat> fucking over... Over what feels like a decade ago at this point. Ah, as we can hear, the mighty Casey is slamming a robot's head into a wall. That's totally what it sounds like, and you can't lie that it does. It absolutely does. Slam, 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 slam. Slam, 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 slam. Got any more you want to do, Case? Any more slamming you want to do? I just got two quarks. Or quarks, whatever. I got two thingies. I got the thingy. From the fucking, fucking trick or treat basket. The, the what? <laughs> The trick or treat basket. That's not what you said, and you know that's not what you Shut said. Shut up! Don't you lie and say something that isn't what you said. Shut up. You called it the what again? The trick chump or treat fucking basket. bucket. No, no, no. You <laughs> called it the chump Lord fucking Lord bucket, Lord. okay? No, I didn't. Yeah, it most certainly said the chump bucket bucket. Wait a minute, what? Honey, come here. I really did quick. not. Uh, okay, I'm coming. You didn't know? No, not at all. Goodbye. You had no idea. You had no idea that there was an actual, like, teleporter to the watchtower. Honey, I'm gonna be honest. Most of the time in this game, I just use the menus to just teleport around. But yeah, there's a teleporter to the watchtower. Ah, oh, fuck! It brought me to Hot Girl. I want to go back. Hey, <laughs> you look ready to go. Open up what that on-duty menu to either jump in quick with others or customize to search for specific runs. Try it now. Oh, and when you're teaming if up with others, keep says, in mind that runs go way like better Hawk when girl. everyone's cooperative, Just encouraging, and her. engaged. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a solo run real quick. Hey, okay. man, do what you got to do. Are you half the man that you used to be, though? Yes, I'm feeling we're going astray. And in this copyright infringement won't go away. Using solo quick play. And I feel Where you going for tomorrow? At work. Where you 
you going where the mask I found? Okay, it's masks or my mic? And I feel, Don't be still and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. Where's well, she smell? Whatever. Her. What up? Whatever happened to Stone Temple Pilot? Did they just like fall off the face of the friggin' planet? Uh, for a while there, yeah. Scott Weiland died, and um. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Yeah, and uh, they eventually did find a new lead vocalist. Uh, it took them ages though. So, uh, solo quick play. Which one is that? Uh, go to. So you're on duty, right? Yes. You said quick play? Yes, yeah, solo quick play. Uh, go to custom play? Go to solo? Or one player? Like, I'm going to guess it. Yeah. I think it's going to be in there. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, like, what specifically your mission entails. <laughs> All right, enjoy that cheese, bro. Cheese. Cheese. What does it mean? It went that well, huh? I guess if you ever have bad luck, you can always blame the gear. And don't forget to keep it repaired. Of course, you know that. Oh, when you outpace Argus, give that guy Tempest Fugin out a shout. He's a big, friendly guy. Just, I guess, don't forget us, okay? Well... We talked about Mortal Kombat, and I literally have a fucking Sub-Zero in front of me. Nice. Not a bad design either, though it's a little too, um, brightly colored blue for my taste. Zack says, test your might. Mortal Kombat. Oh, the Sega Genesis. It's got the blood code. Except it's on a fucking three-pad system that requires you holding the start button to throw extra punches. No, sorry, an extra kick. That's what it was. God, I will say that I will sit there and say this right now. I do love old school gaming, a hundred percent. I don't miss old school gaming controllers. Uh -huh. Because Jesus Christ, were they tiny. Yeah. And that's only because I have behemoth sized fucking hands. So it's not a critique. It's just me saying, Jesus Christ, I don't miss that a lot of the time. Especially the N64 remote. I still cannot believe that Nintendo made that some days. I love the Nintendo 64, but I have the ability and right to say, God damn it, did I hate that remote, though. What's Casey, really quick, what's the comfortable way to hold that remote? Exactly. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, Colleen was right, honey. What? There's a giant nickel. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Well, there's a giant nickel. God damn it. I hate that she's right. <laughs> like not not because of the fact that it makes me feel stupid but more of the fact I'm like they actually fucking did that that's in this game wait does that mean the giant quarter the, the giant fucking dime exists too there it is the what did you find the giant dime no I found solo quick play ah uh, where was it in the initial on duty menu, you gotta hit the omnibus, and then it'll take you to the uh, different types of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, duties you can queue for. I, 
I see. Said the blind That's man. That's weird. To who? Who the hell's the blind man gonna say that to? Well, who's he gonna say that to, Casey? Jefferson fucking Starship? Uh, well, I mean, they built this city. On rock and roll. Don't you remember, dude? They built this city on rock and roll. Marconi plays the mamba. Listen to the radio. Don't you remember? We built this city. See, I would be relatively loud, but I am currently, uh, it's kind of late in my uh, dwelling. And I don't want to wake yeah. some, anybody up. Because that's, like, absolutely fucking selfish in my mind. Yeah, right. Also, Lillian, where the hell are you? The basement. Why? What do you mean, why? Really answer my question. I just asked you, where are you? I'm in the basement. I asked why. What do you mean, why? I don't know. Maybe you're baking fucking cookies or something. I'm just curious. Oh, God fucking damn it. No. Oh, man. Not this one. No. <laughs> what just happened? Um. God damn it, Barry, stop fucking with the timeline. God fucking damn it, Barry. Nice outfit. Did your mommy make it for you? Don't go too far ahead. I'm not. So, so I've been buffed to combat rating 60, and they're having me fight fuckers that are combat rating 73. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to this game sometimes, brother. Okay, come on, doors open. I'm on my way, honey, for misery to have kids today. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, goddammit, do we really have to do that in fucking the end of the game? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Yeah, that never works uh, over the internet, sadly. Uh-huh, just, just in unison. That's what, okay, all right, all right. So I figured out how to use my 290 character advance. Okay, and that would be? One, once I've claimed it, which I've done, I need to log back out to character select. Oh, 
then you should probably do that really quick. I will once I get yeah. this, um, once I get this, uh, duty done. And then, in case you get to be kind of busted. That sounded really concerned. Officer down. What? Officer. Uh, I guess he's hurt. Nah, uh, just rub some dirt on him. He'll be fine. He'll be cool. <laughs> a little bit. There we go. You're not Batman. I wanted to kill Batman. You're not the Batman. I wanted to kill Batman. You must be the marsupial bear. <laughs> so you must be Quilt Man, Padded Pete, Mr. Triple Fly? Oh, I've got it. I was gonna say the cushion. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say the Penny Plunderer, because that's a real character. Oh, Jesus Christ. Killer Moth. Killer Moth, I've heard of. Firefly. Firefly, I'm also familiar Fireflies. with. Fireflies. Uh, what's a random one I could throw out there? Uh, besides the Polka Dot Man. Well, you will always get results with the Polka Dot Man in terms of random. Uh, how about the Ten Eyed Man? The Ten Eyed Man? Yes. Please don't ask what the origin is. It's fucking ridiculous. It's worse than it's worse than the original Electro origin story. Let me guess. Sideshow freak at the circus. For Electro or Ten Eyed Man. Ten Eyed Man. Nope. He loses his sight and decides, I'm gonna take my optic nerves and put them at my fingertips. Oh. Hey, Casey, you know what's a really easy way to defeat the Ten-Eyed Man? Cut off his fucking hands. No, just give him gloves. <laughs> that works, too. Done. Just fucking put gloves in his hands and put, like, a tie that makes it impossible for him to personally take off because it requires two hands to do it. Okay, the Condiment King. I shouldn't be surprised that that exists. He used ketchup and mustard as weapons. What does he do? Squirt him in your eye? Hey, Casey. Because that's the only way I could see yes. that being effective. Don't let those guys get Casey? Away. Yes. Okay. He mostly used ketchup and mustard. Does he break out any other condiments from time to time? 
Uh, yes, he relishes the he relishes the challenge. Yes. Mm, damn it. That's not me saying that, by the way. I'm that fully is aware. I am fully aware. Uh, let's see. Can I pull out some red? Oh, I got one. How about B man? He's literally a B. No. No. See, it's way fucking lamer than that. So Barry E aims. Do, do you get it? I think so. Barry E aims. Oh my god. His ac his his initials his are B E A. No no, his initials are B E E. Oh it's E A M S? His fucking okay. Yeah, e A M S names. Is a fucking NASA scientist, by the way. Just wanna throw that out there. Who uh, decides to sabotage the landing of a rocket so he can go steal the contents within? Which is this is a super. This is a superhero, by the way, case. Just to give you an idea. Okay, you're ready for a case? Yeah, I don't think you are. I never am. Okay, you ready? You got your you got your butt cheeks clenched perfectly for this? Oh, they're clenched. So Barry E. Ames goes inside of a NASA rocket, and you know what he does? He looks at the contents, which turn out to be intergalactic fucking space beams. And he goes that rent Nope, nope, I'm not done, Case. Trust me, it gets it's way stupider than what you think it's gonna be. Homeboy, straight up, goes, okay, what are you guys going to do? We're going to turn you into our champion, and you shall become B-Man, who uses honey fucking grenades and has a stinger on his nose. Well, I mean, I guess it'll be a little too much if they put it on his ass. No, no, but he's got a stinger on his nose. I just want to put that out there because it gets stupider. So he decides to, you with his newfound powers, pretty much just steal a bunch of shit, including, and I quote, life-giving honey. That's a thing? Yes, his that is name a is thing. Fucking Casey, his name is fucking B-Man. His name is fucking B-Man. So B-Man is later found by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and they go, we need your help to defeat the Space Beans. So you know what B-Man does? He goes, yeah, sure, why not? And the Federal Bureau of Investigation goes, you must defeat the leader of the bees. Casey, what is the, what do you think that these genius comic writers named the primary villain of this story? The Queen Bee? You're fucking right on the money, Casey. They named the Queen Bee. And Barry defeats the Queen Bee. The government gave him a fucking presidential medal of freedom for his action. And I'm not kidding when I say this. Gave him his own division of the government to run. Called, and I'm not shitting when I say this. The FBI. Fucking damn it. 
One, two, three. <sighs> Want me to tell you how fast that comic fuck cancels, Casey? Pretty fucking quick. Second fucking issue. I say again, to the complete and utter shock of absolutely fucking nobody. Would you like to know the date this character appears, Casey? Because if you were to say 1940s, I would sit there and say, yeah, I could see that something that stupid would have come out of the 40s. I'm gonna nah, guess, nah, 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 I'm gonna nah. guess 2005. No, 1960, during the fucking Silver Age of Comics, Casey! During the most, one of the most profitable times of comic fucking book history, they created fucking B-Man. And he These has... These geniuses, he has... Oh, he can fly. I probably should have mentioned that. And no his costume shit. is garbage. And he has the not F been seen since. No, he's... Casey, he died after his second issue. Oh my god, there's so many bats. I'm being attacked by a bunch of bats. Will I become... Batman? Can I lead a section of the government case? The F Bat I? I would have. I would call it the XBI, but whatever. Execution Bureau of Investigation, the FBX. Or 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 M or MBX, Michael's Bureau of Execution. Boom. Okay. Let's turn that into a t-shirt so I can never look at it again. <laughs> the F. B. I. It's safe to say Mike is a little irritated right now. A little. Yeah, I just, I don't. It's, it's not even about irritated. It's just the fact that that character fucking existed in the same time period where there is a goddamn comic book character named Dracula who has none of Dracula's fucking powers. He was just related to Dracula. Or how about a character named the fucking Puppeteer? Guess what? Puppeteering has nothing to do with this character besides that's his day job. This character's name is fucking Captain V. Captain fucking V. His weapon of choice is the V-Beam. Oh, and his sidekick was a bald eagle. Named Raven. There comes a point where you have to wonder if they're even trying. Oh, you want? You know what? You you want fucking stupid? I'll give you fucking stupid. Trust me, I can give you stupid all day long. Want to know how long this character lasted, Casey? One goddamn issue before they scrapped it. And the only way for him to get his powers, which by the way, this dude looks like that he is a cross of Captain America and Superman. Just to give you an idea. I can't believe I cannot believe I'm about to say this. 
The character who straight up has a bald eagle, is dressed like an American flag, has to play Beethoven's fifth you know. fucking symphony Let's to get his powers! Get me out! Just you wait! Every single time, by the way, he wants to use his powers, he has to play Beethoven's fifth. Thanks for the help. Not that I couldn't have gotten help by myself. Yeah, eventually. I know. Right? Like, we exist in a world where Bruce Wayne, a uh, young eight-year-old boy, watches his parents get gunned down in front of his own eyes and becomes the Dark Knight. On the other side of the spectrum, Barry E. Ames gets attacked by fucking space bees after attempting to rob a NASA fucking project. Like, when is the point where I'm going to, like, open up a comic and I'm going to see a character that makes me go, I I'm, I'm, think I'm done reading comic books from this point on? Yeah, right? Because I'd love to see that day happen. I'd love to see what would happen on that fucking front. What could they possibly make, Casey, that could make me go, all right, so I'm not reading comic books anymore, ever again. I'd love to see it, because I'd love to know how dumb it would be. The portal will take you where you want to go. The I F can outfit you for when you reach B your destination. Uh, I fucking, I just can't. I just can't. I can't. Casey, I just, I, I, I can't. Please check in for uh, the king time. The guy thinks that he's fucking king time. He makes Batman dance. Or fucking Egghead, where his entire gimmick is eggs. Oh, and he's also he's also played by Vincent Price. Just to let you know. Oh, for God's sake. Batman 196 fucking nine television series. Sorry. 1966 to 1969 television series. Vincent Price plays as a villain named fucking Egghead, whose whole gimmick is that he has egg he he's shaped like an egg. His room is egg themed. The fucking he, everything that he says has egg puns in it somewhere. We're gonna make sure that Batman is scrambled. Excellent. Exactly. I know some pretty fucking stupid information. I really do. That but you I love do. it. Jeebus cripes. All I right. love it. I love comic books being so dumb. I love comics because they're so fucking stupid and dumb. They really do. It's just incredible of how fucking stupid they are. It's almost like that time, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, and I'm a Superman fan. It's almost like that time that Superman built a machine that could turn anybody black, so that way, literally fucking Lois Lane could write about the struggles of black people in Metropolis. Good lord. Or the time that he got fucking uh, pink kryptonite and it turned him gay for a day. And he kept complimenting Jimmy Olsen all day long and saying, you do really, the, the, the drapes look great. Like, I swear to look, the drapes look great, though. Like, the way that you put the drapes up on the window looks great. Like, I swear to God, the drapes look nice. Did you get it, Casey? Yeah. Am I going to be proud of you? Probably not. Citizens of the world, I'm trying to F. Every device on the planet. You're still level 59, brother. I, Lex Luthor, can help you reach your full potential. I'm making my fortune and LexCore's most advanced weaponry 
Casey, you're still level 59. Give me a moment. You'll find cash and weapons spread okay. around major cities. The power Dude, that's not going to Here comes Beam and Stanger Nose. Be careful, cause he'll steal all of your toes. Here comes Beam and he'll fly real fast. His comic book sucked fucking ass. That's the first and last time you're ever going to get that. Please enjoy. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please write them down in the comment section somewhere. If you have any issues, problems, struggles, please email us at 555-444-5656-7272. That's right. You can email us at that number of 555-444-7676642. All callers will be sleeping. But we'll prepare we'll just pretend to be standing by. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, folks, I would love to continue for tonight, but I am um oh, I'm yes, feeling I am. absolutely I am feeling exhausted. I'm functioning off of an hour and a half of sleep last night. Oh yeah, so, dude, get get the hell honey. to bed. Get the hell to bed, hey, dude. It's not my fault. I have insomnia. All right. Well, the good news is I'm getting a whole bunch of level item level two fifty three shit. So, uh, so I will be a much higher level the next time you see me. I'm specifically going Absolutely. for these. So, so I'm going for the stalkers. I'm, keep... Yeah, I'm going for the stalkers yeah. restored set. Awesome, uh, Lillian. If you'd like, you can take over as group lead, or Case, you can take over as group lead. If you guys want to continue going forward, go right ahead. And as you know, Casey, if you need to, use my place as a hideout if you never need it. Thank you much. For, for right now, I, I will only say this before I log off. Catch you later, Space Cowboys. And he's gone. He gone. Compound Omega. Hmm. That's just an R&D item. You don't really need it. And guess who's now level 290? Nice. Okay, where you is so I can teleport to your location? I is talking to Dr. We Kate. We serve the edicts of a great... In uh, in New Hub area. Oh, okay. <laughs> that you like? Uh, that no help. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it is really hey. coming. It is really coming down out there. Hang on, I'm gonna close the screen door a little bit. It's raining. Yep, it's raining like a bitch. Huh. All right.
presence is rewarding. Golden Exobite. Jeebus Cripes. Twenty four Soda Cola Ultimates. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'm going to want to hold on to those. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. I've still got inventory space to spare. Awesome. Artifacts cash. So, yeah, your boy is uh, pretty pimping now. Nice. So, I have a teensy itty bitty problem. And that is? I can't. Uh, I can't kick the werewolf. The game won't let me. Is that odd? It's a joke. Oh. Because the werewolf in front of me is wearing a kick me sign. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> I I ain't even seen that. Well, guess what? Now you did. Yep. All right. Uh, probably going to go for another like 10 minutes or so, and we'll probably call it a night. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. What do I want to do in those 10 minutes? 
love and devotion. So I like to know where you got the notion. So I like to know where you got the notion to rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. It literally just now struck me that spooky bites are literally just candy corn. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah. Excuse me. There are more opportunities for you. This is Wonder Woman. I'm contacting everyone I trust. This is a mission of great importance. The threat of Trigon has returned. The Sentinels of Magic managed to stop Brother Blood's work and were able to trap Trigon in a realm between realms. But the barrier between worlds is weakening. It has been revealed that Raven is not Trigon's only child. You must travel to this wasteland. Our entire world is in danger. Hurry and speak with me once you arrive at the garrison. Well, shit. <laughs> Is that a solo or? Uh, it just says go to Gotham Wastelands to continue your mission. So, I'm assuming we can. I'm assuming we can tackle this together. Gotham Wastelands. There is no time to lose. Circe and Brother Blood are here as well, and they are rallying their forces. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocent people have been brought here only to be tortured by the Sons of Trigon. Speak with the others to get started immediately. Cyborg here, with Beast Boy. Wonder Woman has asked us to scout and report on locations of interest. Beast Boy, why don't you start with explaining this area? Beast Boy? Beast Boy? Gar! Oh, wait, what? Oh, sorry, I was just, uh, scouting a lady's sentinels at the camp. I bet. Anyway, this is base camp. We're monitoring our progress against Trigon Sons from this point. Right. What he said. Coming here has allowed Trigon's influence to test Raven's resolve. She needs our help to resist him. Defeat Raven's evil soul projection at the mausoleum grounds. Jesse, one of Trigon's sons, is gathering envy energy. We must put a stop to it. Head out there and Wonder Woman will fill you in on what to do next. repulsive. Jacob's forces are cultivating scores of lust energy from their horrible rituals. 
Get over to the ruins of Amusement Mile, and Wonder Woman will contact you. Jared, Trigon's little bastard in charge of Wrath, has his followers wreaking havoc near the cathedral. Get there quick, and Wonder Woman herself will give you a shout. We're going after Lust. Gonna have Jake. Gonna tell Jacob to put his dick back in his pants, or we're gonna kick it. Jacob's techniques are vile. His disciples are nurturing desire inside their victims. We need to free as many of these souls as we can. Why are you suffering me like this, fools? This will prove to Jacob how much I love him! There was some sort of what? awful ritual. Where am I? You dare interrupt me? You yearn for Jacob. Jacob you loves me, you. not you. And devotion. I don't know what's going on. I just want to go home. You're no. trying to take Jacob away from me, aren't you? I need help. You won't stand between me and Jacob. Jacob. are using powerful talismans in their seduction rituals. We've got to disrupt their heinous acts. Meet with Sentinel Castus. The talisman only responds to creatures of lust, so you must be transformed into something that can get close. Verto! I'll make you pay. No! Another soul for generation. Take Please, me I to Jacob. Verto. Verto. Why are you doing this to me? This talisman is focused on the Verto. Stop them, Jacob. Verto. While disrupting those rituals, you've spared a lot of innocent people from suffering. 
Now you must defeat the Incubus in charge of the seduction rituals. Apparently he's over here somewhere. I see him. Where's Jacob? I want him to succeed as much as I want him. energy that Incubus was hoarding has been released, and their operation will be hindered for some time. Let me know when you've returned to the garrison. Jacob will never get a foothold in the wastelands. Not with dedicated heroes like you risking your lives to free his victims. Even we dedicated heroes need our rest, though, and I think it is time that I go take mine. Uh, when I go, when I go, when I log off, and uh, obviously, so I'm about to log off. When I come back, will I still be in Gotham Wasteland? I think. So. All right. Uh, we'll figure that out another day. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming along. It's been uh, it's been fun. Definitely getting back into this. Uh, so I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, then probably finish the rest of my stuff on 14. I'm very close to capping out Black Mage, and I want to get that done before Endwalker. All right, so <clears throat> thanks again for coming. Be, uh, be smart, be safe, be true, be you. And until next time, keep those thumbsticks smoking too.